and I got my mom a gift for you today. We're going to show you how to make slime. That's right, we are. And me and my mom have a book right here from her work, but she got in, she did not learn inside her work. She went, she got it from a car. I did. All right, so just to read. And then <laughs> we're going to make some slime after the book is done. Bye. Well, she's got this. So, all right. Hey, everybody. I'm Sari Custer, and this is Sari on Science for Arizona Science Center with my super helpful partner today. No, I'm not your partner. Okay. I'm your kid. This is true. She's also my kid. This is Carson. We are oh, practicing no, no, no. our safe uh, physical distancing, social distancing at home, although I guess we're still being pretty social since we are already, um, well, we're here together. Um, but we've got a great book for you this morning. We have Jane Brockett's Clever Concepts, Spiky, Slimy, Smooth, What is Texture? And let me see if there's an illustrator listed here. There is not. So um, we, we got to make our own illustrator. Oh, you know, I guess we could. Um, it looks like there's a photographer for these. So we'll go through this, and then we'll show you a really great activity. So let's begin. All right, Spiky, Slimy, Smooth. What is texture? Mm -hmm. Alright, this is for my mom. Show me it. Alright. Touch your nose. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? The way something feels is called texture. Let's look around to see what textures we can find. So we've got some beautiful pictures here. This is texture. That is texture, Carson. And this. And what's that a picture of? Strawberry. Looks like candies, strawberry candies. Strawberry candies. Apples. Have you ever had a chance to feel an apple candies or even some rough bricks at home? All right. Those, the, those things are puppets. Oh. Well, furry slippers are soft and fluffy. They I tickle your they, toes and keep your feet warm. I thought they were puppets. What else is soft and fluffy? How about layers of soft, sweet cake and frosting? Yeah, but that's what, that's what the dentist do. Oh, it's a fork. I don't know if a, de a dentist has ever stuck a fork in my mouth, but, you know, it kind of looks like it from here. They feel light and spongy when you eat them. Have you ever had cake? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. at, at my birthday and at my son's birthday. The jam is sticky and gooey. It's easy to spread on toast, but it stays on your fingers until you lick it off. Mmm. Although right and now we don't recommend licking your and hands. Someone is digging and they're putting their hands in the mud. Ew. Oh. I hate mud. You hate mud. Well, you can feel things with your feet too. Have you ever felt mud between your bare toes? It's gooey and very oozy. Ew, I hate that. <laughs> Old flower heads are dry and papery. Rub them between your fingers. They crumble into little flakes. It's almost like snowflakes. Hmm. Cookies sprinkled with sugar feel dry, too. The sugar makes the ridges on top stand out. You can see them as well as feel them. Cactus, cactus. Cactus plants are spiky and sharp. They aren't nice to touch. No, they can make you bleed. Well, I guess they could make you bleed. That now, wouldn't be you nice at all. The one, a big one, they have really sharp spikes and they might they might make you bleed. They might, they might. So we're gonna be careful and not touch the cactus because those are pretty spiky and sharp. But pebbles and stones can be sharp and pointy too. It's much easier to walk on them in shoes than with bare feet. Maybe I'll shoes. Yeah, without shoes. So here are candy. candy. Oh, can <laughs> candy wrappers are smooth and shiny. They make a rustling sound when you scrunch them up. A watermelon has a thick, smooth skin. It protects the juicy fruit inside.
Look at all these different squash. Some are plain and smooth. Some are knobbly and warty. I love squash. <laughs> and some are curvy and lumpy. No one, did you know when I was a kid I loved squash? You did love squash. Now oil is greasy and wet. It makes these tomatoes slippery and yeah. slidey. Yeah, they can just slip right off your hand. Almost like raw eggs, which are wobbly and runny and slimy. They feel very Mom, funny. We're making snow. Well, we're going through textures first. Yeah, but and Mom, when the eggs are watching, you said slime. I did say slime, and we'll come back to that. You remember that, Carson. So just pick fruits and vegetables, taste fresh and crisp. Okay. Apples are firm and crunchy. An apple makes a loud noise when you bite into it. Yeah, like this. <gasps> <laughs> That's a good sound effect. Lettuce feels light and crinkly and easy to eat. Mm. Freshly fallen snow can be crisp and crunchy <gasps> under your boots. Hey! Your old home Michigan has snow. That's right. There's snow in Michigan. But hey. if you catch a snowflake on snowflake on your tongue, you can feel how light and cold it is. <laughs> that would make your whole snow. body. That would make your whole body small. Things made from metal feel hard. When we hold them, they don't bend or change shape. It's some metal. Tiles are also hard. They are smooth and cool to touch, but the thin gaps between files, tiles feel gritty and rough. Here's our tiles. I can just put poopy things on those lines, they might fall. They might, but we're not going to do that. The tiles otherwise feel smooth. All right, so at home we have soft, squishy textures to keep us warm. On winter days, it's nice to snuggle under woolly blankets and stitch cotton quilts. What's the next one? Why not the next one? Let's see. What else is nice to touch? Apricots and peaches are fuzzy and dry. And there's a butterfly. Oh, there is. If you could hold a butterfly, it might feel soft and dusty and very fluttery. Here's our butterfly. Some things are not so nice to touch. These scrubbing brushes are bristly and scratchy. Like it can just scratch off your foot. Well, we won't. I don't. Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> those these things are also brushing horses. They look like horse brushes, don't they? Yeah. Now bricks and stones are hard and rough. They might scrape your knuckles and knees if you try to climb this wall. What do you think? That's this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you just walk up really carefully, you want to hurt yourself. <laughs> oh, gummy ones. <laughs> you know those. Candies have lots of different textures. Some are stretchy and rubbery. Some are smooth and melting. Some are crackly and crunchy. Look at all those candies. I just want to eat them. <laughs> Only a sometimes food. All right, texture is all around us. Everything we touch has its own texture. Look and feel around you and see what textures you can find. What words would you use to describe them? Here's a couple things that have texture. Okay, Mom, after this one is the end. I think you're right. That's the end for Lewis and Charlotte with many thanks to Carol Hintz and Danielle Carnell. Oh, look at that. I used all to right. have the old. Then. Well, texture is all around us. And we're going to do a science activity as part of this that has a really weird texture. Carson, what are we going to do today? About slime. We're going to make some slime. Now, some of you may have made slime at home, and that's okay. If you've got a favorite recipe, by all means, make your favorite recipe. But we've got a really super easy one for you today with uh, uh, items that you probably already have in the house, so you don't have to go out. Um, all you need is, well, Carson, do you want to share what you need? Mm -hmm. You can use this white glue or red glue or some. You want fancy over here? And you can use school glue and 
gold and then silver and pink and glowing and the dark and the glowing the dark and the glowing the dark. It looks like we've got lots of glow in the dark glue in this and house. Well, we'll get there in just a second. Hold. And color. So if you don't have fancy glue in your house that already has color in it, you can use any of the white glue or clear glue, any glue that you have at home. And if I'm you want, using pink. you're going to use pink. So you can just use regular food coloring to make it colored if you want to have colorful slime, uh, if it's not already pre-colored. I wouldn't add anything to this. It tends to just muddy the colors. These are really pretty, well, pretty. So, all right. So pick your glue. Carson, what are you going to use? We're going to do some clear glue. All right, so let's hold this upside down because uh, we'll hold it there for a second. I'm going to go ahead and pick, I think, some of this purple glue over here um, to do. And we can do That's your fancy glow one. In the dark. You want to tap it down so we'll get it. Oh, this is glow in the dark, huh? The purple glow in the dark slime. All right, and then we're going to take the big cap off. It just makes it easier. You want to screw the big cap. Oh, other ingredients that you're going to need. We're starting with glue, but Carson nailed it. Um, some food color if you need uh. the coloring. Carson, what is this uh. one? I'll help with that one while you talk about the other this ingredients. This is baking soda ba and contact solution. Baking soda and? Contact solution. Contact solution. So baking soda and contact solution. That's really all you need, and you don't need much of either. Um, so even the, don't you don't need the fancy contact solution, just the, the cheap regular stuff you got. That should be just fine. And a good glob, um, you can use the whole bottle of glue if you want to. Yeah, I just find that then I end up with, well, a whole lot of slime. It just depends on how much you want to make. And here you go, Carson. Let's make this one here with the clear. Oh, wow, that is really glued on there, isn't it, kiddo? Mm. All right. Oh, there we go. We got it. So shake that down into the bowl. Um, you're also going to need a couple of little spoons that you're okay with um, using. So um, with glue and food coloring. Kind of forgot about what we needed there. Um, bowls that you're okay with getting a little bit messy or dirty. And then, all right, that looks pretty good. You got a good good glob of glue. We'll move that over here. So there second, I'm gonna add the food coloring. this is the point at which you want to add your food coloring. That's right. So just a couple of drops, mm -hmm. just a small squeeze. All right, Carson, you got a couple of drops there, kiddo. Yeah. One, Three drops. That looks pretty good of the pink we're using. So we're going to make some pink then slime. I'm going to mix it. Yep. So start mixing. Go ahead and mix it up really well. And if you want, at this point, you can also add your baking soda. You can wait to add it until you're done. But, oh, yeah, that's a really good pink. So um, we're just going to use a little shake. I'm going to show everybody how much we're, we're using. Just, just about like that. Just a little pinch. Should do you. You can add a little bit more if you want. Carson, show them. Uh, here, let's show this turned out a really pretty yeah. color if you can see into the and bottom of this. And look, see, when it's in the purple bowl, it looks like red. It does look red in the purple bowl. But so if you take it off, it's still red. It's still red. So you're going to go ahead and mix up your um, baking soda. If you've got your color, mix it all into your glue. And then the last thing you need is the contact solution. So Carson's go ahead and shake, shake some in there a little bit more. You want about a spoonful. So fill up your little spoon and drop it in there. You might, you, you would like a little more here? You need a little more? So this is where you get to play with the texture because uh, mixing the contact solution and the baking soda, that's, those two are your key ingredients. So they're going to take the polymers in your glue and help them stick together even more so they're really long chains. How you doing? Oh, you're doing good. Keep mixing. Ooh, it's looking good. Actually, this looks pretty bright. Yeah, it was clear. Oh, so that's more. another note. If you're using Mommy, white. Mommy, can I use a little more? No, I think we're good on color. Thanks, though. If you're using white Wait, glue. Mom, I need one more color. No, you don't need one more color. I think we're just doing one color slime today. Good try, though. Um, if you're doing white glue at home, um, the colors are going to come out slightly more muted, a little more pastel-like. If you're using clear glue, you're going to get some pretty vibrant colors. So. Um, this one's pretty can good, Carson. Can you can I try touch it? it. Yeah, go ahead and touch it now. What does it feel like? Um, I'm, mommy's gonna keep mixing hers. Slime. Oh, it feels like slime. Can you use some other words to describe your slime? Uh, slimy. Come on. What does it feel like? Is it hot or cold, Carson? It feels kind of warm a little. 
feels a little warm. Mine, mine feels is. mine feels cold and even a little wet. Mine now if it feels warm and cold. Warm and cold. All right, so if yours is still feeling a little sticky, a little gluey, you can add some more contact solution. The more you add, the more rubbery it's going to get. So just mine heads up on that. If you want it if you want it sticky, don't add as much um, contact solution. You can add a little more contact solution, Carson, if you want. All right, so you can keep playing with that. Oh, there you go. That's exactly what I needed. Now mine is in a ball here. And I have some good purple glow-in-the-dark glitter slime here. Can I turn off the Oh, well, we'll try it later, and hopefully, maybe we'll, we'll try it and clip it to the end of this video, huh? All right, well, hopefully you had a little fun exploring. Feel it, play with it, stretch it. Use all the words you can to describe it. What does that texture feel like? This is just a fun one. Make all the different kinds of slimes you want. If you want to add in um, glitter, beads, or other things before you add in the contact solution, um, you can do that too, and it's going to change the texture and what your slime feels like. So have a little fun with this. Um, we always do at home. This is one of our absolute favorites. If you'd like more activities to do while we're all home safe social distancing, please check out azscience.org and our Peace of Mind Knowledge HQ website, which has a ton of resources for you. All right. Anything else we should tell them before we go, Carson? Um, yeah. If you want to see more theater videos of us, then come to theaterscience.com. Oh, theaterscience.com doesn't exist, but you can find us at azscience.org and social on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. I had to think about that for a second. Thanks for joining us today. Leave your comments. Leave pictures of your projects below. We can't wait to see them. We hope you're having a great time, and we'll see you next time with Sari on Science. Mommy, and Carson. My, my glitter. Look what? at my slime. It came out good. It came out good today. It came out like a red. Look at guys, guys look at this glow in the dark slime.